What's up, folks? I'm Dom. Welcome to the channel. Hope things are going well for you. We're having fun with this thing. I don't know this group, and it's the Cotton Picking Kids. I don't think I know them, but let's see. Who requested what here? Richard Harrington, shout out to you. You requested that I do Cotton Picking Kids. It was, oh, I'm sure it had to do with the Petersons. Because I've reacted to, I don't know, maybe four or five of the Peterson songs. And you were like, Don, if you want to hear other bluegrass groups, there are bunches of them out there. Why don't you try the Cotton Picking Kids? I'm like, why don't I try the Cotton Picking Kids? So that's what I'm doing. And I went, I went to their channel. And I'll put the Cotton Picking Kids link uh, in the description box below, right at the top there. So that you could just go over and check out all their stuff. And Richard, you said you're a bluegrass player yourself. So I'm guessing these folks are really good because you wouldn't recommend a group that wasn't good. So let's see what the cotton picking kids have. Here we go. Sweet home Alabama. Now there it is. She's playing the lead, I like it. Big wheels keep on turning. All right. Carry me home, see my kid. Sing him songs about the Southland. I miss Alabama once again, and I think it's a sin. <laughs> Where are they from, Richard? Well, I heard Miss Young sing about her. Well, I heard old Neil put her down. He did. Well, I hope Neil Young will remember. A southern man don't need him around anyhow. Sweet home Alabama. Where the skies are so blue. They basically jammed six people into the equivalent of a closet. And uh, you see the bass player in the back? Like, she's just, like, back there in the corner, like, doing her thing. All right, here we go. They got boys on one side, girls on one side. Every party I've ever been to, that's almost exactly how it goes in someone's house. Men go over there, women go over there. It just happens. Sweet home Alabama. Now Muscle Shows has got the swampers And they've been known to pick a song or two Yeah Look, they give me off so much They pick me up and I'm feeling blue Now how about you? Sweet home Alabama Fantastic arrangement Where the skies are so blue Not a good time to stop a song like this ever, but I'm got to do it once in a while to make a comment. But I'm wondering if we're going to get a solo out of the banjo player or out of the dobro guy in the back. 
But I have my eye on the bass player, too, because she's just keeping time back there, just sort of quietly, just keeping the rhythm of the song going. Green home Alabama Where the skies are so blue Sweet home Alabama <laughs> I think she's wearing Lord, braces. I'm coming home to you That was fun. That I mean, they're good. I mean, you were right, Richard. They were they were good. And the dynamic to see, like, if, for a little while there, I'm like, because with the Petersons, it's like all family members plus one dude. And so then you wonder, okay, are these all? They don't look all the same. So the cotton picking kids. I don't know if there were auditions. I don't know how the band itself formed. That usually there's a couple of family members in in an ensemble like this, and then you add friends or you add other musicians along the way. But they were committed to their craft. That much was obvious. And I love, I I, I just love hearing the riffs, the the uh, the composite, how they decided to use the different instruments to keep Sweet Home Alabama true to the original sense of the song and the feel of the song and the rhythm and the tempo and the whole thing, but with different instruments. I don't think they, did they use three guitars in Sweet the original Sweet Home Alabama? I know in Freebird when they did it live, I mean, there was, who played guitar on the Rossington and I guess you had Collins and, and uh, the Van Zants and stuff, but to come, now here we have Dobro. I don't know if Skinner had a Dobro. But, uh, and this bass here was serious business back there. I think her name was Rosalinda. Did I see that on the thing? But no, these kids are all serious. I wonder if they're in band, like if they were. I don't know how old they are now. But, because uh, I don't do research. I let you guys fill me in on that. I don't have time to do research. But I love reacting to it. But I wonder where these kids are. Like if they're in high school now, or if they're sort of like in college, if they're in a high school band, if they're doing whatever, or if they just do this. But... I love seeing this. I didn't hang out with artists when I was in high school. I was a jock, and I liked to party. And so, like, theater people went one direction, musicians went another, and, and then, yeah, j jocks went one direction usually. And I love seeing these folks because it's just what talent, what talent they have. So I'm not going to rate that. I'm just going to leave that one be. I got the link to their channel down below so you can go over and check out more of their stuff. But I may be doing reactions to more of their stuff down the line too, Richard. So yeah, I know you have a lot of thoughts on this composition as well as their music because you're a bluegrass player yourself. So I know you could chime in on whatever you want to chime in on and uh, educate many of the rest of us who don't understand bluegrass the way you do. So there you go, folks. I'm going to leave it at that. Have a great day. I'll see you on another video. I keep rocking the country and bluegrass, just like the cotton-picking kids. Have a great day. Mm -hmm.